y'all didn't even want to raise y'all hand. Y'all was like, uh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> Sex can ruin your whole future. A lot of you like, what? Made my future better. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, I thought that too. I thought, you know, having sex was the thing to do. Instead, we were staying longer. Yeah. Uh -huh. so. so I thought it was. You know, I, I thought it was cool. So I would chase after girl after girl and see ya. <laughs> next. What did JC say? On to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then, that's why today I have a wife. With a kid. And I have a son with a mother. I have a daughter with another mother. <laughs> Y'all thought, thought I was just a good person. I'm like, oh, this dude got it all together, man. He come here, he talking to us, you know what I'm saying? You know, he got it all together. No, I come to be real with you. I'm not just talking to be talking. I've lived it. I'm living it today. Trying to prevent you from messing up your future before it's ever in front of you. Right now, today, you guys are going to have to make a decision. Do I want to stay in this classroom? Or do I want to go back to my other school? Go back. Go back. And graduate. So I'm going to take you back into my life. Found myself in Elko, came back home, not changing my mind. Smoking weed, partying. Staying out all kind of late at night. Mom's still worried, not going to school, ditching. Most of my life was in institutions. Or at a party. Or at Circus Circus. I used to ditch and go to Circus Circus a lot. Them tickets was important to me. <laughs> So then, the story to tell this guy came into my life named David Hollis. Hot dog is his nickname. Youth parole officer. First time he met me, I looked at him like. She walked off. He came back. He said, hey, my name's, my name's David Hollis. You know, I'm your new parole officer. And? <laughs> Gave him one of them. What's up? walked off. I was worrying my mom sick. She didn't know what to do with me. The story they tell me, she was crying out for help. Just crying out. I don't know what to do with Quincy. Quincy don't listen. Quincy don't stay home. Quincy out there smoking weed. Quincy running away, stealing cars, fighting, getting it all. I was a lost child on a road to destruction. Found myself hanging out and running away from home for a week. Seven days. Ran into these group of kids who embraced me into their home. It was a lady that lived in this house. The rest of us was kids, young adults. Her kids and all the kids around our neighborhood 
that just wanted to party. We could hang out at our house anytime we wanted to. Spend a night, eat, drink, smoke, go parties, have sex, whatever we wanted to do in this house. One day the kid said, hey, I'm moving out of my dad's house. Do you want to help me? We're going to get his stuff. Cool, I'll help you. Turns out these kids was going to rob this kid's dad. I thought we was going to help him move. I found myself in a conspiracy to rob somebody. And this kid was going to help them rob his own father. <laughs> was he on something? Yeah, we was high. We were drinking. Yeah, we were on stuff. Yeah, definitely. Find myself in this house. They robbing the house. and. I'm, we running around, I'm looking, I'm just confused, I don't know what's going on, I'm scared. I, I, I turn and run away, I open this door, I walk right into a closet. Completely black. I turn around to see this young kid tackle his father, two kids standing over him with a gun, and fire goes off, the kid's dad's dead, shot right in the middle of the living room, dead on the floor. That's what I'm trying to get you to understand. I know it's God that has me here today. Can nobody change my mind about that? This kid helped his friends rob and kill his own father because he was angry at his dad. I grew up with the same anger issue. Some of us have anger issues. It's not nothing to be ashamed of. It's something to work on, to talk to someone about. Find myself in a courtroom testifying, telling the truth. The truth shall set you free. God bless me with another chance at life. I could be in prison right now. Not standing in front of you. I wouldn't even have children right now. I wouldn't have a family. I would have never met my wife. That's how serious this is. And it started right here. Right here, I didn't make the decision to change. Something to think about. Start thinking about your futures. Start thinking of the possibilities of you being great and doing great things. Because there's greatness inside of each and every one of you. You just have to tap it into it. You have to look within yourself. Not when someone tells you, you have to see it. You have to believe it. Because ultimately, you have to do it. Thank you. I'm going to pass it on.